All right, so youth peer support and training. Now, this one is not expanding until January of 2020. Uh, more information can be found on page 40 within the SPA manual, and the link is located right here on the screen for you. Um, Similarly to Family Peer Support Services, Youth Peer Support and Training, or YPST, are an array of formal and informal services and supports provided by a peer with lived experience to young people to expand the skills and strategies needed to move forward in meeting their personal, individualized life goals, develop self-advocacy skills, and support the transition into adulthood for that young person. So what these services include, uh, skill building. Uh, some of these are very similar to the family peer support services. Skill building, develop skills for wellness, resiliency, recovery, as well as independently navigating the service system, setting goals, and community living. Coaching, which is to promote wellness through modeling and provide mutual support, hope, reassurance, and advocacy. That includes sharing one's own personal recovery resilience story. <clears throat> It seemed appropriate and beneficial to the young person. So if it's, if it makes sense, if it's going to help in decreasing feelings of isolation, then a uh, youth peer support provider can share examples and pieces of their own experience that might help create um, that feeling of connecting, connection and relationship. Engagement, bridging and transition support, uh, again, similar to the family peer support services. Act as a peer partner in transitioning to different levels of care and into adulthood. Help the young person understand what, what to expect and how and why they should be active in developing their own personal plan and natural supports around them within their natural environment, their home, their community. Self-advocacy and self-efficacy and empowerment is developing, linking, and facilitating the use of formal and informal services serving as an advocate, mentor, or facilitator to resolve issues, and helping young people develop self-advocacy skills and make independent choices. Lastly, community connections and natural supports, connecting young people to community resources and services, accompanying them when needed for the purpose of mentoring and support, and developing a network of peer support. This also includes facilitating or arranging youth peer resiliency and recovery support groups, which is an incredibly important part for young people trying to navigate these systems and, and different challenges. 